Hey guys, how are you all doing? It's been a like while since I've made the tips and tricks video on this channel. Yet, I think I have lots of videos about the tips and tricks on various mobile phones. So if you have got time, do check out my channel. Go ahead and subscribe if you like those videos. I've also made videos on camera tips and tricks where you can utilize the camera settings to its fullest and get some really nice looking images. So in this video, we will be focusing on getting that battery back up. Yes, this Redmi 9 Active or any other Redmi phones have a very nice battery backup in general, but there are a lot of issues still on how the apps are consuming battery in the background. So that's what we'll be looking in this video. I'll show you the settings or other tips and tricks where you can use that setting. Just follow the video and do it as along and you'll find the battery backup much improved. And let me know in the comment section down below if this video really helped you. So these settings are really important. So make sure you follow along as I show in this video. So let's go ahead and start with the video then. So the first setting you want to change is with the developer options inside the developer options. So in order to enable developer options for the first time, if you haven't done that, so what you need to do is to go to about phone and keep tapping on the MIUI version or rather Android security patch for seven to eight times, just like this. And you'll get a pop-up message saying developer option is enabled. So once you have got the message, just go ahead, take back. And once you are into additional settings here, just tap on this one, you will find the developer options here. So just tap on this once and here just keep scrolling until you find background process limit. So it's really important. A lot of people don't know on this one. So there is background process limit. So you have to take utilize of this. So make sure you are tapping on that and here by default, it's to a standard limit. So what you need to set is to either go to at most two processes or set it to at most three processes. I would suggest you set to at most two processes. Uh, wherein you will get a lot of improvement in terms of battery backup. What this basically does is it limits the background processes. Say you are running a lot of applications that consumes a lot of battery even though you have closed the application. So that's where it gets really interesting on how the apps are optimized to consume battery. So just go ahead and tap on at most two processes and just go ahead and tap on back and just uh, do your normal activity and see if the battery improves so if it doesn't follow the second step which i'm going to tell you right now so again going on to settings for the second tip in this video so let's go ahead and go to battery and performance here just tap on this one and once you have tapped here you'll find the settings of the battery just tap on that one and you'll find clear cache when device is locked so this is also really important and a lot of people don't know about this setting so just go ahead and tap on in one or five minutes so what this basically does is whenever you lock the device and keep it for one minute idle automatically the cache memory gets cleared so you don't have to separately keep clearing everything once in a few days so this is really interesting setting that is already available and make sure you take full utilization of it. Moving on with the third setting here, we'll be in the same battery saver here. So just swipe left once and you'll find app battery saver. So this shows what are the applications and how the battery is optimized for that particular application. So what you want to do is to let's say the apps you don't use often. So let's say Google Play Movies and TV, I don't use it often. So by default, it will be battery saver. So what you do is to change it to restrict background activity and tap on OK. So this is very nice trick in order to get that extra battery out of your mobile phone. So let's say Netflix, go ahead and restrict background activity. So whenever you just normally use the application, you can use it normally as you use regularly but then it won't consume battery in the background. So that's the advantage of using the setting. So whatever apps you have got there, so make sure you have changed the setting to restrict background activity. So make sure you change these settings and let me know in the comment section down below. So moving on with another trick. So we will go to apps here and here you will find permissions. So once you are into permission, auto start. So if at all you see any switched on uh, like this blue icon right over here for the applications, make sure you close it. Yes. So this will stop it allowing the applications to run in the background automatically. Let's say you turn off mobile and turn on and a lot of apps in the background keep opening automatically. So for that you have to just turn these things off. So this will also help you improve the battery on your mobile phone. So moving on, so moving on with another nice setting here. Let's go to this lock screen and here you'll find glance for me. So if you are annoyed by the 
wallpapers that Xiaomi shares whenever you lock the screen. So you'll find it a whole lot of time on the lock screen here usually, the Glance Me wallpapers. So you don't have to have that. By default, this will be turned on like this. So just go ahead and turn this thing off. So this will also help improve the battery performance for sure. So last but not the least, really nice setting here again to improve the battery backup. So it is to turn off the animations and this will also increase the performance of your smartphone for sure. So make sure you do as I show here. So we will go to additional setting developer options and what you want to do here is to change the animation scale. I have been actually telling this setting for quite a while now, maybe four to five years around. So this thing has improved a lot of people's mobiles performance. So make sure you turn off the animation which are just unnecessary and consumes a lot of RAM there. And what you will get here is if you just go ahead and tap on the settings or any other, as you can see how quickly any settings that you want to uh, change will appear. So this will boost the performance of your smartphone for sure. See how quick the settings are applied here. So very quickly you can open the application. So it just doesn't consume RAM. This is a really nice trick that you want to apply and see it for yourself. All right, guys, these were some of the best tips that I can give on saving the battery. There are a whole lot of different applications or tips and tricks related videos on my channel. Make sure to check that out. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. Guys, I will see you all in another one. Till then, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.